Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to the next episode. What? Yeah, that episode of NBA Playgrounds, guys. So today what I'm doing is I'm bringing you guys PC gameplay. I know everybody's looking at the screen. You're like, bro, what's up with the A button, bro? Did you go to Xbox, bro? Did you go to Xbox? What's wrong with you, bro? You're supposed to be PS4 only, bro. What's going on, bro? Nah, so check this out, guys. Basically, NBA Playgrounds has laid out an update. And the update is for PC only, but it'll be coming to other platforms shortly. So, in today's video, I'm bringing you guys PC gameplay because this is where you guys will be actually able to see an update. So, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go over the updates. I'm going to go over other things that they added to the game, as well as showing you some gameplay of how the update plays. Now, first thing that you guys will want to know is they have added a shot meter to this game so what i want you to do in the comment section is spam up l or w for the shot meter man just go ahead and put in the chat shot meter uh dash w or dash l is it a l is it a w you're gonna see me play with the shot meter live here in this video and i'm gonna give you guys my honest truth about it now the next thing that they've added to the game is challenger mode now this is online which means you will play with friends they call it challenge mode but they should have named it play with friends but i know why they didn't name it play with friends because it doesn't really go in sync with their game but basically in challenge mode you can invite your friends off your friends list you guys can play with your own teams not any share play or anything like that playing with one person's team and stuff like that using the same players you can play with your own team from the own packs you opened online it's a very big deal this is something that I said they needed to add early on and they've done it man in this update and within one update guys they've changed the way that this game plays also they've made three-point shooting harder not just offline online so when you go into these online games you got to do shooting from the corner all crazy you got to do shooting from half court all crazy that's null and void now it's going to be more layups more regular jump shots more dunks in online gameplay it's, it's going to be crazy because when you think about NBA Playgrounds, you think about it as an arcadic game that you could play, have fun, and not have to stress about how much a game makes you miss or, or make shots or anything like that. So I want to see how the community reacts to a new shot meter, harder three-point shots, and they even said they tweaked layups, dunks, and regular jump shots as well. So I just want to see how that moves the community in what direction. Does it move them into a better direction or a, a more of a dark place? You know, I don't, I don't like going to dark places, but you know, it is what it is. Also, they have added the actual, how should I say, if you rage quit, and you think you know you're not gonna get any consequences or anything like that you now will be losing your rep points as well as it will do something else in game i'm not sure if it's going to be to the fact that if you quit so many games that you're going to get banned or anything like that no this, this don't think 2k when you think nba playgrounds but if you keep quitting this just puts you in a lower tier now if you don't want to be in a lower tier what are you going to do you're going to take that l like a man right you're going to try to come back right yeah so ain't no more quitting at the last Last second of the game when the, before the last shot go up ain't no more of that man so you know what I'm saying play your games act like act like a grown person even if you're a kid take it like a man you know what I'm saying so that's that's how that's gonna go also um one big thing since Shaquille O'Neal has been announced as the NBA 2K18 cover athlete, NBA Playgrounds kind of did something different as well. They've actually added five different versions of Shaquille O'Neal. They've added his Boston Celtics version, Miami Heat version, Phoenix Suns version, Cleveland Cavaliers version, and his Orlando Magic version. Now, they've also added... 15 new players guys I'm, I'm basically gonna run down the list of the 15 players for you guys i know you guys are like yo where the packs at we want to see one of these players you got the update what's going on but basically they've added dennis rodman isaiah thomas the celtics isaiah thomas they've added larry bird they've added the greek freak kenny smith gary payton clay thompson devin booker tony parker kemba walker seth 
Curry, uh, uh, Tiny Archibald, John Starks, Tracy McGrady, and uh, Pete uh, Maravich. All right, now also they have added uh, Steam Cloud Save support and uh, they've added Steam Big Picture Keyboard Management. Um, that's just something on the PC side. Um, it'll probably be something else for the console side. Um, also, they said that they have changed the way that three pointers affect the game. They will no longer put up anything to your lottery pick bar that means if you shoot a three-point shot you make the shot don't think that your lottery pick bar is going to move at all they've completely taken that out so three pointers are no longer going to go to the lottery pick bar what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to dunk 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 get your lottery pick bar and pray to god that you get those shots where you can get like nine points from three um also they have Reduce the number of steals that it takes for the challenge in Las Vegas. It was reduced to 10. It was current it's like lat like probably like a couple days ago, it was at 15. I couldn't beat it on console. I'm just gonna go ahead and point that out. But now that it's at 10, I think I can beat it. Um also they've reduced the number of three pointers it takes to, for the Paris challenge, uh the number of three pointers for the London challenge, the number of three pointers for the Las Vegas challenge, and they've reduced the inbound time. Um they've reduced it to fix the over overall uh, effect of the game basically if a player did the specialty like of a uh, Shaq dunk and then Shaq does his little intro it also takes time to inbound a ball so what will happen is it will kind of be a lag and then it could be a person that comes up to you and can play the inbound which kind of made the game like bro come on all he has to do is keep doing that special dunk or move every time and when he celebrates on the inbound he could just stay there and come up for the inbound still or something like that as soon as we get the ball it kind of sucked but now it's fixed so that's good as well um so now that i've given you guys everything uh there is a link inside the description that you can read all the upgrades for yourself if you didn't understand anything i've just said for the last few minutes but what we're going to do is we're going to go into online and we're going to go into a regular game to show you guys the shot meter and everything like that so let's go ahead and go into it um first thing online match um i told you guys challenge mode is now a thing so if you guys see it, it says switch to challenge uh this is your challenge code and you can enter the code and once somebody accepts like one of your uh, invites or anything like that you can instantly get into a game play up against people and do everything you need to do now i know you guys are probably like bro what's up with your lineup bro what, what you doing everybody knows that this is my pc version i haven't played pc in a while since i got on a uh, console so don't hurt me but um let's go ahead and go to tournaments real quick i'm just gonna go ahead and play a, a a little tournament as you guys can see man none of this has been played on on uh, play, uh pc so let me see what i need here I need to score three pointers in one game, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and select this and I'm gonna select a nice little team here. Alright, let me see. Let me get let me get Wilt Chamber. Why not? Why not bring Wilt out? I am saying why not? Why not? Alright, so like I said guys, they've added the shot meter. Uh three pointers are difficult now, more difficult. Um, but that's with them uh lowering the actual uh challenges during tournaments it's, it's pretty crazy because if they're lowering the challenges for three-pointers in tournament three-pointers might have gotten nerfed crazy i like i haven't played any of the updated games so this is the first official gameplay of the update here man i i don't know what to expect guys i really don't i hope i hope it's fun i hope it's still fun because it's you know I, I i like this game We're here at the all right so let's see ready to go. Let's see if i can get the tip oh. one all right got the tip supreme. all right so first thing i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and run to my corner see if i can pull up and Did that shot was close to perfect, but not everything. Up oh, still, we out. All right, let me see if I come to this corner. And oh man, that shot meter, man. That shot meter is nothing to play with here, guys. I'm gonna see if I can pull up. Oh, that looks perfect to me. That that should have been a perfect release because it was in the green. I think if you're gonna have this shot meter and you have like a shot in the green, it should be a perfect release. I don't care what anybody says, man. If you're going to add a shot meter, it needs to be, like, and have a little green piece oh, here. It has that's to be a perfect over. release, guys. It can't be anything else. Now, see that right there? That wasn't a green release, but 
like I said, man, if you're going to add a shot meter, anything that's in the green should be perfect. Anything. I don't care what anybody says, man. Because when you think about it, whether it's late or not, it's still in the green. Like, Did you see that see shot? All right. Maybe you should hit reset. Just play nice little fast break. Oh, man. All right. Now, if you guys notice, Will Chamberlain even had a, a meter for his dunk. So it looks like this shot meter is for every little thing. Stays out of trouble with the cross. Come on, boy. Give me a cookie, boy. All right. I'm going to try to pull up one more time. Ray Allen. Nice three pointer. I'm getting the timing down pretty quickly. Uh, it doesn't look like the timing is off too bad. And also, remember, Ray Allen's stat for threes is actually a 10. So that's something you guys want to consider too. Now, I was I know I missed that one because I just wanted to test it out. I wanted to see how how off I would be if I got into the red. So that's pretty good there. He can't make his shot. I'm going to go down and try a layup now. All right. Good layup and I have my lottery pick bar. All right. Now dunks are worth twos. Now, one thing that I can say, guys, uh, when you have a shot meter and you're going in for dunks and layups and stuff like that, it kind of takes away from the wow factor of the game because it's more so, like, how should I say, when you're when you're going in for dunks, you really look at what the player is doing when dunking. You feel me? Now look at this, I, a perfect shot right there. Didn't get a dunk, but like I was saying, man, when you're when you're constantly looking at a shot meter, you really don't look at what the player is doing, so it kind of takes away from the nostalgia of the actual game itself. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass it off, see if I can get a nice dunk here. Boom! Nice four point play right before the meter uh, lottery pick bar goes away. Now, like I was saying, guys, I don't, I just, me personally, I don't like the shot meter on dunks. I just don't like it on dunks because you, you're looking at the meter to make sure it's perfect. <laughs> so you kind of miss, like, the, the nostalgia of it all. So, I don't know. That's just me, though. That's just me. They can't make shot to see Boy. That was a missed opportunity. They can't hit. They can't hit. Chamberlain. Ankle breakup. Don't do it. Ooh, nice move. Give me that. It looks like blocks are actually a little bit better. Ooh. He missed everything. Alright, now I'm supposed to make three threes, right? And we got five seconds left, right? So can I pull up? Alright, challenge completed. Put it in the books. Alright, now we beat these guys 21 to 2. I mean, come on, let's, let's, let's just get out of here. Your boy's the GOAT. Nah, I'm just, just playing, guys. But you guys see it. I've also gotten an achievement here with the buzzer beater. But uh, overall, the shot meter, I like it for the threes because now you focus on the timing. But also, I don't like it for the dunks because now you're focused too much on the timing and not the actual animation or poster or alley-oop itself you're going to be too worried about timing so i think they should take that away for dunks per se just take the meter away i'm not saying don't like keep the timing out keep the timing like the timing and all that will still be there but the meter bar itself just take it away from when you're dunking because when you're dunking people want to see the dunk but if that meter pops up, they're going to be focused on the meter to make sure it's perfect and not even know what they did up top. So it's just, it's not a a big problem. It's just, it's just one of those things like when people motor skills are, you know, going, you know, just firing up, people want to see the dunk, but they're going to be focused on the meter bar because they're going to want to see, oh, did I make it? Is it perfect? Can I get a perfect? That's that's gonna be the way the game goes, and then it's just gonna get more competitive from there, and that's just how the game is gonna be. So I just would say take the bar away from when you're dunking because people are gonna be too focused on it, way too focused. All right, now uh, guys, that's that's the update there, guys. Um, I've showed you the shot meter. I've showed you the the new difficulty of three pointers, as well as I've showed you the online challenge portion so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys spam with that like button man 
go ahead and share this on any website that you guys go to such as reddit or anything like that let people know about the update let them know that it's coming for console it's already on pc so it's already implemented but what i can tell you is i'm gonna have to play pc for like three days straight because i want to get a good enough team because when me and x chase money start playing each other we're gonna play each other on pc so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new if you have been subscribed to my channel make sure you guys turn on notifications that's right man click that little bell right there right next to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace oh,